Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board, the PCAOB, and its role in the auditing profession. Now, historically, we have to understand that the PCAOB came from the Sarbanes-Oxley Act that significantly transferred. Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board, or the PCAOB. We have to understand that the PCAOB derived from the Sarbanes-Oxley Act that significantly transformed the audit profession for the first time since 1933 and 1934. It changed the dynamics between public companies, public companies and the auditors and their auditors. And it's very important because from 1933 to 2002, when the Sarbanes-Oxley was created, there was not much of a change between the relationship between the auditors and the public companies. In 2002, we had several major bankruptcies, such as Enron, WordCom, and other accounting scandals. What happened when this happens? The government intervened, and they performed their own investigation. And two senators, Paul, Paul Sarbane and Michael Oxley, they introduced this act, and you see their picture on the slide, and they call it the Sarbanes-Oxley Act. Now, the Sarbanes-Oxley Act introduced this oversight board. It's called the public company. Notice the word public. We have to be very careful here. It's a public. Notice the word public, and this is important. This is not a coincidence. It oversees public companies, companies where their shares are publicly traded. In other words, the purpose of it is to do what? Is to support the public. It's supervised by the Securities and Exchange Commission, which we need to talk about the SEC in a separate recording about the role in the audit profession. So it's members. So the members of the PCAOB are appointed or overseen by the SEC, United States Security and Exchange Commission. Let's take a look at the role specifically of the PCAOB. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. The role of the PCAOB consists of overseeing auditors of public companies. I cannot emphasize this enough. In other words, we have public companies and we have a private company. So we have to differentiate between the two. Public companies are different. Public companies, you can buy their stock. They are required to have an auditor every year, audit their financial statements. They are listed on an organized stock exchange like NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange. The PCAOB set the auditing standards for these publicly traded company and inspect audit quality. Now, we're going to have a whole session about audit quality, more about this later, but you have to understand that the PCAOB, on a regular basis, they inspect. They go, go ahead and they inspect means what? In a sense, audit the auditors, making sure the auditors are doing their job as expected. I'm going to show you soon what a report would look like, but we need to learn about audit quality as either CPA candidate or accounting student. Now, post-2010, which is eight years later, the Dobb-Frank reforms, what they did, they put the SEC register broker and dealers auditors also under the PCAOB. So prior to 2010, auditors of brokers and dealers were separate. They did not have to worry about the PCAOB. But Dobb-Frank, 2010, after the housing crisis, they said, no, also those auditors, they are under the PCAOB. The PCAOB annually reviews firms auditing over 100 public companies. So on, a, on, a, on an annual basis, if you're auditing over 100 public companies, we're talking about the big four here, most, of course, and other firms every three years, they will go ahead and they review their performance. It means what? Inspect audit quality, see if they're doing their job properly. Major breaches can lead to penalties from the AAS, PCAOB, the SEC, and state boards. Now, you might be saying how often this happens, how often deficiencies happen. This is the PCAOB report that was published in 2023 about the 2022. Audit with deficiencies rose for the second year in a row to 40% over 20 uh, in 2022. 
the chairperson calls the finding absolutely unacceptable. And obviously, you can go to the PCAOB enforcement site and look at the various reports. And if there's any violation, they publicly list those violations. For example, if you work with the big four, you can go ahead and look at the big four, all the violations for the big four when it comes to PCAOB. Audit firms must make changes to live up to their responsibility to investors. And you could, I'm not going to go over the report. You could go over the report if you'd like to just kind of expand your knowledge. Let's take a look at a multiple choice from Farhat Lectures. Something you need to know, you need to be aware of about the PCAOB. Which of the following statement regarding the PC, PCAOB is correct? One of the answers is all the above. Okay, let's take a look at the questions and see if we can find the right answer. The Public Company Oversight Board establishes auditing standard for all CPAs must adhere to during audit. Well, does the, does the PCAOB establish auditing standard? Up to this point, correct. That all CPAs must adhere, must adhere to? No. If you are a CPA and you audit private companies, not public companies, you have no relationship with the PCAOB. You're basically, you follow the AICPA standard, which we'll look at those in a separate recording. But the point is, the point I'm trying to make is the P in the PCAOB, it's for public companies. The Public Company Accounting Oversight Board is in charge of, for example, once A is out, we can take D is out because all the above are not correct, now down to 50-50. Let's take a look at the remaining two questions. The Public Company Accounting Oversight Board is in charge of private company auditors. I already told you this, that's the P is public, we have private companies, issuers and non-issuers. Now your CPA review course may call them issuer. When we mention the word issuer, we are, we are referring to public companies, public companies, non-issuers, private companies. Issuers means they issue securities, stocks, bonds to the public. So B is out. By the process of elimination, I would say C is the answer, but we want to make sure C is the answer. The Public Company Accounting Oversight Board inspect the quality control, good, of auditing firms for public companies. And this answer is correct. So notice, you have to look at the word public if you misread the word public or issuer and for example to make this example more difficult for you other than public i would have i would have put the word issuer then you cannot relate pcaob and issuer if you cannot relate the two you will be a little bit confused and you don't want to be confused and this is what farhat lectures does i have multiple choice questions that clarify those subtle differences especially with the course like auditing course or studying for the cpa exam what should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional MCQs, lectures, true, false. That's going to help you understand this concept properly. Good luck, study hard, and invest in yourself.